Hello and welcome. My name is Clarissa and today we are going to go through a nice, quick and easy 10-15 minute Pilates magic circle workout. All you'll need is your beautiful magic circle. Let's begin. So you're already going to be lying down onto your mat here and let's start with a stretch. So pull one knee in towards your chest and then the other. Place the circle onto the balls of the feet shoulders down the back and exhale pull it in allow your back to get a nice stretch here and then inhale stretch the legs up towards the ceiling exhale bend the knees pull it back in inhale stretch the legs up exhale bend the knees and pull it in just a couple more here just waking up the lower back and the hamstring last two and last one, keep the legs extended. Start to lift the head and chest up, fold the body in half. Tailbone can even start to lift. Getting a good stretch along the back of the body here. And then lay your head down, bend your knees, and carefully take your feet out of the circle. Let's start to warm up the abs by placing the magic circle in between the legs, but below the knees. You never want any pressure onto the joint. Toes are facing forward here. Arms go back and slide the toes maybe further away from the body so you have a little bit more room. And then you curl the chin to the chest. Exhale, squeeze the circle and rise all the way up. And it's okay if you didn't get all the way up. It's challenging like it's supposed to be. Squeeze the circle as you articulate the spine back down. And again, exhale, curl up and reach up. Take your time and then curl the tailbone under, articulate the spine back. Two more, and it's even more challenging if you try to keep your hands near your ears, it makes it even harder. And then curl the tailbone under, shoulders back, and go back down. Hands go down by the sides, adjust the circle if needed. Lengthen out the tailbone, then exhale, use your lower abs to help you lift the legs back up. You can even flex the feet. Inhale, lower the heels back down. Exhale, scoop the abs, lift the legs up to tabletop. Inhale, lower. And squeeze the circle as you lift the legs here. Two more. Collarbone wide. Last one. Keep the legs in tabletop position. Relax the toes. Exhale, squeeze the circle. Inhale, release. If this is too much, you can always keep the feet down and do the same thing. But for more of a challenge, lift the legs up in tabletop for eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Squeeze the circle, bring your right arm near your ear, turn to your side. You can either be propped up here or place the hand behind the head. Knees are bent, hips are stacked. You're then gonna exhale, press down with the top leg, inhale up. Exhale, press, inhale up. And we're working from the oblique here. Three, and two, and one. Good, place your hand in front of your chest, keeping the hips stacked. Exhale, lift both legs up, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. I don't expect to go super high, but you gotta keep those knees squeezed. One more. And then flip back onto your back. Hands go to back by your sides. Sway your legs towards the left and then towards the right. Try to prevent your shoulder blades from lifting. This is like tick tock with a modification. Two and one. Good. Now we'll spin around to the same thing on the other side as far as laying onto your side body. All right, and I just wanna make sure that you can still see me. So your hand is behind your head or you can be lying down if that's a better position for you. Just make sure that your hips are nice and stacked. As you exhale, press, inhale up. Exhale, press, inhale up. Three more, uh-huh, and two, and one. Keep the circle closed, keep your hand in front of you. Lift the legs and lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower, last two, and one, 
and flip back onto your back here. Grab the magic circle, place it just above the ankle bones. We'll do our 100 with our legs extended all the way up. Curl the tailbone under, keep your head flat. And instead of pumping your arms, we'll squeeze the circle in and out. In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Keep it going, in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Equal pressure between both legs. Now option to take the hands behind the head, lift the head and shoulders up. In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. You can even start to lower the legs down a little bit, going into your working level. In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Just a couple more. Three, two, one. Keep your hands behind your head. Exhale, pull the knees in. Inhale, squeeze the circle, stretch the legs out. Exhale, in. Inhale, stretch out. Maintain a soft squeeze in that circle so I know your inner thighs are active and engaged. You have two and one. Keep the legs extended, bring your hands down by your hips for a little bit of short spine here. Squeeze the circle, lift the legs up and over, then reach the legs slightly away, pull the knees in, articulate the spine back down as you press out with the legs. Lift up, tailbone lifts. Pull the knees in, squeeze that circle. Articulate the spine down. And then push the legs back out. One more. Lift up, bend the knees. Articulate the spine down. And push the legs out. Now rotate your legs towards the right, driving the wheel towards the right. And back center. Rotate the legs towards the left and back center try to keep your tailbone down if you need to have a soft bend in your knees you can and two and one good gently place the legs down and sit all the way up reaching your arms up towards the sky pull the knees in okay adjust the circle as needed hands can either go underneath the kneecaps or they can go right here but I want to simulate stomach massage. So let's make it a little bit more challenging. Okay, find your Pilates V. Hands can go under the knees or by the hips, your choice. You will then inhale, stretch the legs out. Exhale, pull the knees in. And you can even extend the arms. Inhale, out. Exhale, in. With that Pilates V. Good. Three. And two. And one. Hands go behind you now. Lay your spine all the way back down. Shake it out side to side in case you need to take a little bit of a mini rest. Feet go flat onto the floor for bridging. Squeeze the circle. Walk the feet closer together. Abdominals in. As you inhale, lift the hips up. Reach the knees away from the hips. Exhale, articulate the spine down. Palms stay nice and flat. And again, inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, articulate down, bone by bone. One more, inhale, lift up, reach the knees away from the hips here. See if you can bend your elbows, place your hands onto your waistline, pressing the hips up a little bit more. Hold it, three, two, one. Arms come up, lower your left hand, and then you switch, maintaining that lift. Reaching the fingers up towards the sky, Neck is long, shoulders down the back. Three, and two, and one. And articulate the spine down without the hands. Then place the hands down by the sides. Stretch the legs out long, hover them, and lift all the way up. Good, turn, so that way you have your right foot on top and your left leg on the bottom, all right? Sitting up nice and tall, hands can go behind the back as if you're doing a seated chest press. All right, then from here, inhale, press down with the top leg, exhale, lift. Inhale, press, get taller, exhale, lift. You have four, and three, and two, and one. Maintain the press, flex your foot. Point, it makes a difference. It's a little bit more hamstring activation when the foot is flexed. Three, and two, and one. Good, lift the legs up. Hold here, squeeze and release, squeeze and release, squeeze and release. Lengthen out the chest, two, 
one, turn the other way. And it's okay if it happens to come up. You can always readjust it here. Place the left leg on top, right leg onto the bottom here. Back into that sheeted chest press here. And we lengthen out our spine and we press down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Two more. Last one. Now keep the leg up as you point and flex and point. There you go. And flex. Three and two and one. Good. Hold it. Start to curl the tailbone under. Lift the legs up. You press and release. Press and release. That bottom leg is so active. Three, two, one. Good. Flip the legs so that way your toes are facing forward and go ahead and place the feet down. From here, sit cross-legged, lean forward and stretch the legs out long for a little bit of spinal extension. From here, have the circle go in a vertical direction. Let's put both hands onto the circle on each side so that way your both hands are, are even. Forehead is down. If this feels like it's too much on the shoulders, just lift the head and chest up a little bit here. Legs together if you don't have any lower back issues. Press if you're going down and inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, press and lift. Exhale, lower and reach. Inhale, press and lift, stay up. Take your left hand off, reach behind, and then reach back up. Same thing on the other side. Take the right hand, reach behind, and reach back up. Now take the left hand, reach behind, bend your left ankle, and then press and lift, getting a good rotation and stretch. And then go ahead and release and lower back down. Other side, left hand onto the circle. Go ahead and bend your right knee. Press and lift, rotating. And then come all the way back center. Carefully lower back down. Slide the circle in towards you. Curl the toes under and put your hands on the inside of the circle so that way the pinkies press into the circle. Elbows in and I want to get a good position so maybe scoot forward a little bit. Press up, holding this position here. Now rock back, rock forward. This is your leg pull front variation without the one leg option. Three, two, and one. Good, now from here, bring the legs a little bit closer here. Drop the knees, tap and lift. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. Shoulders down the back, abs are in. If the variation, you can alternate between the two. Still holding that plank pose. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift the hips up high as if you're in a downward facing dog. Separate the legs the width of your mat. You can bend the knees and you can jump forward as if you're in a frog-like position or yogi squat. Grab the magic circle in your hands here. Have the elbows pull off the knees and then you'll exhale, squeeze the circle, inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, release. You have four more. Keep going. And three and two. And one, sit all the way down, stretch the legs out long. Place the circle onto the balls of the feet here. Gonna kinda do like a banana slash teaser. Position your shoulders down the back. Using your momentum, curl the tailbone under, and you will start to come back. Uh-huh, and then exhale, rock up and hold it on the up. And rock back, and come up. And rock back, relax the shoulders, and up, two more, rock back, come up, last one, rock back, come up, hold it on the up here, take your right hand, place it to the middle, reach the left arm away, as if you're twisting on the reformer, that summit with side series with the twist, and then you can bend the knees, and then switch, and twist and bend and twist and bend and twist and bend and twist two more 
Oh, let's even it out. Give me one more each side. Really reach long. Last one. And pull it all the way in. Now extend the legs up. Hold it on the up. Can you rock back a little bit, but still maintain that curve of the pelvis here. Now take your left leg off and then the right leg off, pointing the toes, reach the circle up in the air here. Then turn the circle sideways, let's shave the head into a teaser. Exhale, bend the arms, inhale, extend the arms. Exhale, bend, inhale, extend. Can you squeeze the circle a little bit more? Two, and one, and then sit cross-legged and place the circle down. Lean forward, come into your child's pose or rest pose here. Take a stretch. Come back onto all fours, fingertips spread. Knees are the width of your hips. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Last two. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Last one. Inhale, arch. And exhale, round, sit back onto the heels if it feels good. And that was your magic circle workout. Hope that you enjoyed it. So sorry about the uh, washing machine, but hopefully you're still able to hear me okay and get done with your